For those considering to buy a small car or for those that are curious, this is a detailed review of a small car. Is it worth it or not? You'll find out in this video. The cars referred to as small cars are cars like Kia Picanto, Hyundai i10, Chevrolet Spark, Smart 42, Sphere 500 and other similar sized cars. In this video, we are starting with the bad things that you will hate about these cars and we will move on to the things that you will love about these cars. Stay tuned. Things that you will hate about small cars. Number one, space. When you have a small car, forget about bringing everything you need. You will have to make compromises. Because these small cars can hardly even fit two suitcases in the boot or trunk. Talking about the cabin space, these cars do not have enough space for five adults. They can't fit, but squeezed. Number two, driving experience. At speeds below 100, their handling is fine. Go above these speeds and the car will act like it wants to take you to heaven. If you love speed, small cars are not for you. Stay away from them and I mean it. Number three, comfort. On average, they are comfortable if there are four or less people in the car. Once it's fully loaded with five people, lack of space becomes a big problem. The car will also only fit a maximum of four big guys and it will look stenched from the outside. Looking on the positive side of things, here are things you will love about small cars. Number one, fuel efficiency. These small cars have small engines with most being three cylinders and some four cylinders. These engines consume less fuel per kilometer. I would say if I'm to compare the fuel consumption of these small cars to Bucky's, for the same number of liters, they'll give you double the distance. Number two, parking space. Parking these cars is the best thing ever. They are probably the easiest cars to park even in tight spots. Squeezing yourself through busy areas is also very easy. You can, you can literally park these cars anywhere and they can fit very well. Number three, maintenance. Since these cars are simple, they don't have a lot of things that can really break. They mostly have only the basics that a car needs and if they break, they are usually cheaper than other cars. Those are the pros and cons of a small car. Will I recommend you to buy this? It depends. I would say, if you live in an urban area, these cars are a good option. If you live in a rural area, especially those deep villages, this should be the last car you need to consider buying. Thank you for watching. We'll meet you in the next video.